Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Inside Microsoft Teams. I'm your host, Stephen Rosen. Thanks for joining us. We are continuing with our double click series. Again, we heard from so many of you on, can you kind of walk through some of these difficult topics and kind of give us a good one-on-one? -on -one? And one of the things that I heard there was a lot of confusion about is Operator Connect versus direct routing versus Microsoft Teams calling plans. Which one do I use when all of that? And I thought, Hmm, who can I bring on the show? And I thought Daniela would be perfect. So Daniela, thanks for joining us today. How are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, everyone. Really excited to be here with you all today. I'm Daniela Chukradon. I'm a senior product marketing manager uh, focused on Microsoft Teams so and so I'm here to clear up some of the confusion and some of the questions that you may have on how to enable PSTN connectivity in Teams. Awesome. Well, we've, we've made a lot of announcements at Ignite last year. Um, what were some of the top ones around calling? Because then I want to talk about where are we at now with that and how do folks sort of navigate through this. So why don't we start there? What were the big announcements at Ignite around calling? Yeah, absolutely. I would say one of our biggest announcements related to this topic was the general availability of Teams Phone Mobile. Um, we're super excited about that. It's a fourth way to enable PSCN connectivity in Teams. So as I'm walking you through a little bit each of the options, I'll walk you through what Teams Phone Mobile is and some of the value that it can provide to your organization. Let's talk about what each one is. So what is Operator Connect before we talk about what makes them different? So very simply, if somebody said, tell me what Operator Connect is, what would you say to them? Yeah, definitely. So I would say Operator Connect is if you're wanting to maintain your existing operator agreement and also your existing PSTN service and you're a fully cloud-based solution, you have a fully cloud-based telephony solution, that is really the best way for you to get kind of a managed service to deploy PSTN and team. Okay. Now, direct routing. Direct routing is then for customers that have a more highly customizable environment. For example, you still have on-prem legacy systems that you still need to make sure that you maintain and that your telephony solution can integrate with. That's where direct routing is really a great option for customers. All right. And then the third one is Microsoft Teams calling plan. Yes. So that's where Microsoft is your operator. That is a very simple and easy to deploy. So Microsoft, you know, you're able to provision and assign phone numbers directly from the Teams admin center and very quickly get up and running. Um, that's currently available in 35 markets today. I was taking a look at the Gartner MQ, which was great. UCAS, we finished up above everybody else. But one of the things they said is Operator Connect can add a little bit of complexity. So how do we figure out one over the other? How do we decide what is the best to use? Is it Operator Connect? Is it direct routing? Is it the Microsoft Teams calling plan? And at what point might it make sense to bring in a partner? And I think you brought some slides and some stuff to walk through, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I know, you know, when we introduce Operator Connect, we introduce another third grade, you know, Previously, we had just Teams calling plans and direct routing, so it was very straightforward, first party versus third party. And then we added another great way to enable PSTN connectivity in Teams. Um, so I'm going to walk you through what each of these are, and then also Teams Phone Mobile, our newest edition. Um, so I can go ahead and share my screen again. As you were mentioning, Stephen, now we have, you know, four great ways to connect PSDN connectivity with Teams Phone. So as, as you all know, Teams Phone, you can get, you know, core and advanced call control capabilities. You also have the ability to place voice and video VoIP calls and then PSDN as well, uh, making and receiving calls. So there's each of these options and really customer choice is at the center of our strategy and why we have all these four options to meet your business and your IT needs. These give you all of these options, give you flexibility and choice. And the most important thing to know is that you don't have to choose one of these options. You could use a combination of the four based on your geographical coverage, your users needs, um, you know, as I mentioned, whether you need to, you know, support on prem or legacy systems, you can really use the combination that best fits what your organization needs and where you are too, in terms of your telephony solution, the complexity that's needed. So now let's go through a little bit about what each of these options are. As I mentioned, each of these options, starting all the way from Teams calling plans to direct routing, offer a range of customization and flexibility based on the complexity of your current voice solutions and how they're set up. But let's start first kind of here on the left-hand side with Teams calling plans and what they are. So Teams calling plans are a really simple and easy way to add calling to your organization. As I mentioned, you can do this directly from the Teams admin center. You can purchase the licenses. You can assign them to your users uh, very easily and just get set up in a matter of minutes. We currently offer Teams calling plans in 35 markets, but we're continuously expanding our geographical coverage as well. Also, if you have existing phone numbers, you can easily port them through, um, bring them over to Microsoft using the number porting wizard available in the Teams admin center. And then in terms of calling plans that are available today, there's three different calling plans that you can choose from. Domestic calling plans, international calling plans, and we recently introduced pay-as-you-go calling plans as well. Now let's talk about our newest offering, Teams Phone Mobile. 
Teams One Mobile is a seamless way to integrate your users' mobile identities with all the Microsoft Teams collaboration and productivity. With Teams One Mobile, a single SIM-enabled phone number serves as your desk phone number, your mobile number, and your Teams number. It's really easy for you to move calls across networks and devices without making sure that there isn't any call interruptions. You can easily transition calls from your cellular service on the go to Wi-Fi once you get to the office and then bring in rich video calling enabled by VoIP. And you can also get access to call history, voicemail, transcriptions in Teams, and on your mobile device. And with Unified Presence, you can see, you know, let colleagues know whenever you're available and whenever you're not. Teams One Mobile is now available with Rogers in Canada, Telia in Sweden, Verizon in the US, Deutsche Telekom in Germany, and Swisscom in Switzerland. BT in the UK will launch soon. So now we're going to talk about Operator Connect. Operator Connect allows organizations to maintain their existing PSTN services and teams, and it gives you a lot of the benefits of simplified deployment, managed hardware, and shared support in SLAs with operators. And with Operator Connect, you can keep your existing contract with a participating operator that's part of the program. Or if you're looking for a new operator, you can see a full list of participating partners directly from the Teams Admin Center. Operator Connect gives you a lot of benefits that make it really seamless and make it a really seamless and powerful PSDN option for you. As I mentioned, you can keep your existing operator contracts. You can very quickly deploy in Teams, just get set up in minutes by establishing the connection to your operator, quickly provision and assign phone numbers to users. It also allows you to reduce the cost of hardware and management that you might have with a traditional uh, telephony solution, and then benefit from the enhanced support and reliability. Now we'll talk a little bit about direct routing, uh, which is another alternate option. And this is for organizations that have very unique calling needs. As we talked about in the beginning of the call, organizations that have more customizable solutions, they need to support legacy hardware or on-premises uh, telephony solutions. This is where direct routing really comes in and is a really powerful option. It's currently available in over 180 markets. Um, as I mentioned, it's highly customizable and allows you to maintain your existing operator agreements and PSTN service. With direct routing, you can connect an SBC to almost any telephony trunk or interconnect with third-party PSTN equipment, which allows you to virtually use any PSTN trunk with Teams phone, and also configure interoperability between telephony equipment such as third-party PBXs, analog devices, and Teams. So that's a lot of back and forth, and I get that, but how do I figure out which one's right for me? Is there kind of a simple, hey, you have a chart. Let's talk about your chart. I like your chart. I think your chart helps us to sort of walk through and kind of go, yeah, this makes more sense and cut through the confusion. So walk us through this. And then I want to talk about where folks can find this and kind of next steps. Yeah, absolutely. So we've kind of put together a framework, as we know, as we talked about the beginning of the call, there's lots of questions on figuring out what the right option is right for you. And as I mentioned, you can really use a combination of these four options, or you can choose one. It really depends. And we've kind of thought about there's three different categories as you're working, you know, whether your account team, if you're working with an account team, or kind of trying to decide yourself, what is the right option that's best for your organization? We encourage you to think about, do you have a current operator or existing deployment currently that you want to maintain? Are you looking to optimize for speed of deployment and you have internal telephony expertise in your organization? And also, what are your regional and workforce characteristics? So there's kind of three different categories in this framework that we've developed. So for example, if you have a current operator that you're working with and an existing PSDN deployment, and if you're currently running a fully cloud-based solution, Operator Connect is a really great way for you, as we talked about. There's a lot of benefits of the seamless deployment, not having to manage a lot of legacy hardware. But for example, if you have an existing operator you want to work with, but you still need to make sure that you integrate with legacy on-prem systems, that's where direct routing is still a really great option as well. Um, so that's kind of if you're thinking about maintaining the relationship with your current operator. Now, for speed to deployment, if that's really what you want to optimize for, um, and you have internal telephony expertise within your organization as well, if you want a really rapid, you know, quick deployment, calling plans can be a really great option as well. As I mentioned, that's really easy to get set up through the Teams Admin Center. Um, if you also want, you know, need to make sure you are able to support, you know, your existing operator, Operator Connect is still a really great way. And Teams One Mobile comes in really if you're supporting a, you know, highly mobile workforce. If your workers are using a lot of, you know, mobile phone numbers, and you know, mobility is increasingly becoming more important. That's where Teams One Mobile continues to be. You know. Sure. Sales and frontline, especially, and we just did a show on frontline workers, that would be extremely valuable. So that's perfect. Awesome. So, yeah, and as I mentioned, in terms of regional and workforce characteristics, you know, calling plans today are available in 35 markets today. You know, for example, if you need to expand geographical coverage beyond where calling plans are available right now, you can use a combination of calling plans, you know, and our operator connect or direct routing or Teams phone mobile. Um, and that's where it can really kind of help expand the geographical coverage to make sure it covers your multinational 
footprint of your organization. Um, direct routing also too, in terms of regional characteristics, if you're in a region that has unique regulatory requirements around telephony, that's where direct routing can be a really good option for you as well, uh, depending on the regulations of that region. All right, so now that we've walked you through, you know, kind of how do you choose what options best for you? Let me just give you a quick demo of how you can actually get started with these, each of these options through the Teams Admin Center. So as you'll see here, it's very easy to take a look at all the different operators that are participating in, you know, Operator Connect and or Teams Phone Mobile. You can directly for Teams Phone Mobile, Operator Connect, or Teams Calling Plans, so you can quickly provision and assign phone numbers to users directly from the Teams Admin Center. If you're using a combination of these options as well and kind of see all the phone numbers in your organization. Um, you can also apply corporate and security policies and compliance controls across all of your company communications. And with direct routing, admins also have the option to easily assign phone numbers from directly from the admin center as well. Awesome. So there's, you know, we, I know we just scratched the surface in terms of each of these different four options and which option is best for your organization or which combination of options is best for your organization. So we definitely encourage you to check out our documentation. We've shared some links here with you all that you can check out. We're also going to be working on a great blog with one of our MVPs that will go through each of these options in more detail. So please, please check it out once it's available. Awesome. So hopefully we remove some of the confusion around Operator Connect and direct routing and Teams phone mobile and all the rest. This is the first of several shows that we're going to be doing. So we've given you out some great resources. Take a look at that. We want to hear from you. If there's a specific area inside this that's creating a lot of confusion as you move from PSTN to the cloud, we want to help you. So let us know what we can dig into. And Daniela, thanks for giving up some of your time today to share with us. We appreciate it. And we will see all of you very soon on another episode of Inside Microsoft Teams. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon.